Hey y'all, welcome to vlog miss day one. It's see by the title today we're installing this wig and we're talking about why well, i've been gone for so long i do this video every year i don't know why i keep doing it but we're gonna keep on doing it okay um honestly these curls are giving i've never done this like type of curl on this wig so yeah i hope y'all enjoyed this video let's go ahead and get into it my blow dryer just stopped working so we're having to fan this glue while i'm installing this wig i have work tomorrow at 4 30 in the morning um but welcome to vlogmas day one okay y'all like get into it um i'm gonna try my best to stay on these videos um i've planned everything out like every single day i have something to do so we won't you know have any problems okay um as you can see this glue is clear so it's time to bring this wig down y'all let me know what y'all been up to for the past couple of months it hasn't been a year yet um, it's just been a couple of months. Basically, what I've been doing is school and work. Um, that's literally it. And have not really had any time to do much content creating for YouTube. But I have been on TikTok. So, if some of you guys follow me on here... Um, also follow me on TikTok, or if you follow my TikTok and you came here, hey y'all. But, girl, I can't believe my blow dryer just gave out in the middle of me trying to glue on a wig. It's been a pretty good day, though. Honestly, this day has not been bad. It has been pretty good. Um, I spent most of the day, because this is my off day, I spent most of the day literally just sleeping. <laughs> But um, then I got up and I started doing some decoration around the house. Um, I'm going to show the decoration that I have for Christmas in another video for Vlogmas. So that'll be in um, later videos. Also, this is not a tutorial. <laughs> this is just basically a top, like a, you know, update video. But I'm also, you know, gluing down this wig. Um, I need to go find an elastic band. So everything will stay stuck on boo okay so let me go find this elastic band i'll be right back okay also y'all if i'm not looking straight at the camera um there's a mirror right here so i'm trying to like do both at the same time okay so i'm gonna curl this hair so y'all let me know what y'all been up to i may have already said it but let me know what y'all been up to in the comments or you can dm me um on my Instagram at I'm just Anila. It will be on the screen or in the description. Um, I can. I have a bunch of stuff planned. Like I said, I planned a lot of stuff for Vlogmas, so I won't get behind. So I have every video literally planned out. Um, hopefully, it helps me because, like in the past, I think only 2019 is is when I went all the way through with it. Um, as far as like doing every um, video for 25 days. So we gonna strive to do that this year and I'm pretty sure we can do it. I'm pretty sure I can do it. <laughs> I haven't been up to much of nothing. Like I said, I did, um, I went on two trips. I went to Atlanta for my uncle's wedding and then I went to California, well, Los Angeles for my birthday when I turned 20. So. I'm going to put some pictures and stuff on the screen of that. Um, honestly, life has been life in some times, but it honestly hasn't been bad. I'm super blessed. Um, I just bought my second car at 20 um, about a week or two ago. Um, so I'm super blessed about that. Um, honestly, I really can't complain about nothing. Yeah, If this video is a lot of me rambling, I'm just trying to fill you guys in on the past seven or eight months honestly i'm so blessed like i said before i'm so blessed to be where i am today and honestly just can't complain that's all i've been trying not to do is not to not do too much complaining because i could be um way worse off than i am now so i'm super blessed to be where i am right now and not in a also not in a rush to be where other people are in their life um I spoke about this on my podcast. Also, you guys, I do have a podcast. Um, you guys can go listen in. Um, I'll li I'll link it in the description down below. It's with one of my best friends, Theatis. 
Um, we have a podcast together. We're actually on um, our season break. So we'll be back with our podcast in January. Um, but yeah, y'all can go listen to that and catch up until we have new episodes coming out in January. But yes, I spoke about this on my podcast. I think um, we're just speaking about not trying to get ahead of yourself. A lot of people want to, you know, be able to move out or whatever as soon as they turn 18 because they see other people on social media doing it. And that may not be the path for you. Like, honestly, it may not. And it, honestly, right now for me, it's not for me. Like, I want to be super financially stable when I move out so I don't have to move back in. That's my goal. I want to be in my career before I move out so that I can be um, financially stable and different things like that. So don't ever feel like you're behind the curve. You're actually ahead of the curve. Just try to think positive thoughts, especially when it comes to stuff that's influenced by social media. So on my channel, I will never try to be the advocate for moving out or this and that and like, you know, moving out young or whatever. Of course, everybody wants to have their own space. Um, getting older, you want to have your own space, different things like that. But if your parents are allowing you to stay, baby, stay, okay? It's, you know, it's more people out there that's probably struggling to pay their bills because they decided to move out their parents' house so early. Um, that's, that conversation was so off topic. Um, but I just wanted to say that because I feel like it's super important, especially for younger people, people that are, um, maybe just turning 18, um, or 17, finna turn 18 and that's how they feel. Actually, my, my eyes are watering, y'all. My eyes always water. I don't know what's going on. Some people say when your eyes water is something that's in your makeup products or something, but baby. I'm not changing my makeup products. <laughs> I'm not changing my makeup products. So my eyes just going to have to keep watering. I don't know why they're watering right now, though. But yeah, y'all. Like, I just wanted to put that across. Like, I'm not trying to get on here and preach or nothing. But I feel like that's super important um, for younger younger adults or people that's finna step freshly into 18 and they want to move out their parents' house. Just think it through. I'm not telling you to move out because, baby... I'm all out for moving. I'm all for moving out as well. Like if you want your own space and you're dealing with like family issues and the only way out is to move out, then do what's best for you. You know what I'm saying? But for me, in the position that I am right now, I'm gonna stay right here and try to stack my money, get my life together, finish college, move on to my career, and you know, that's gonna be that. Now, if y'all see me in the future and Say I move out or whatever before I got into my career. Mind your business. You know, mind the business that pays you. You know what I mean? Like, I never said that I wasn't an advocate for people moving out. Did I? No, I didn't. But, yeah. Um, I don't. But I don't honestly see myself doing that. I really want to be um, completely stable in my career um, before I step out and do big girl things. And, you know you know, get a own, my own apartment, things like that. But yeah, like these past few months have been um, really peaceful for me. That's another reason why that I have been trying to like stay away from social media is to, it takes a hold of your peace and everything. So I've just been, I've just been out the way. Um, but I have been posting on uh, TikTok, just some of my like day in the lives as a young working college student. Um, I've just been doing that over there and the audience on tiktok has really been enjoying it and i also have rewatched um my vlogmas from 2019 and that was that is what influenced me to you know do this for you guys um honestly it completely surprises me when i come back on here every other year or every other few months or so and i still have the same amount of followers like the same amount of subscribers still here Nobody has unsubscribed. That maybe it's because they haven't seen me, so they just have no reason to unsubscribe. But either way it goes, I'm taking it how I about take it. I really appreciate you guys. I'm really gonna start getting back into my content creator bag. Like, this is something I always wanted to do. I've had my YouTube channel for about eight years now, and I've seen no progress, and that is because of me and not because of nobody else. Um, that's me not being productive within um, you know doing youtube and that's also because baby life definitely be life and and things get in the way and honestly 
what people get lost in with YouTube is that, you know, they think YouTube is the most important thing. And it honestly may be if that's their career, like if people, you know, YouTube is their career. Um, and honestly, I used to want YouTube to be my career. And I'm not saying that I don't want it to be my career now. It's just that I want to keep it as a hobby and I don't want to turn my hobby. I want to keep my hobby passionate. You know what I mean? Because when you make your hobby about work, it doesn't really become a hobby anymore. So I'm going to still do YouTube and I'll still do it as a job. But I want to make it fun. I don't want it to feel like work. Because it, it, and that's my thing um, of the reasons why I always end up stop, you know, doing my videos because it starts to feel like work for me and I want it to feel like a hobby. I don't want it to feel like I'm finna clock into a nine to five. I want to have fun with it, you know? So that's my goal for, you know, this vlogmas is to keep it fun, keep it light. If the video short, baby, the video short, at least I put out a video. I put out a video that I was passionate about and if it's short, then that's what it's gonna be. So yeah, that's how I'm feeling. Um, that's how I've been feeling over these past few months. Over the course of these few months, um, TikTok has obviously been easier because it's just a short. It's so short of a video to where you can you know pack your whole life into sixty seconds, and it makes it a lot easier than to having to um, having to set up a camera and edit almost thirty minutes of footage. You know what I mean? So TikTok has obviously been easier in that aspect and it's easier to like, you know, reach people. But I also wanted to get back into my, you know, my YouTube bag. That's where I started. I always loved doing YouTube. I've always been so into YouTube since I was a little girl. Um, And now, honestly, I don't even watch YouTube. Like I used to, is it just me? Like if you guys um used to watch YouTube a lot, like girl, I used to watch that. I used to watch YouTube be on there every single day. Um, now I just come on here for my other like content creator baddies. Um, and I watch them and I get up on off of here and I maybe go on TikTok, scroll through Instagram and stuff like that. But I used to be so, 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 so like on YouTube. So bad, baby. So bad. Um, and that may just be me growing up. I don't have a lot of time to like sit and watch youtube videos only time i have time is when i'm laying down and i'm finna go to bed and having to wake up in the morning for work so and that's just the life of that's just the life of an adult and that is what it is that's you know that's what we all gonna have to end up doing sooner or later so yeah but i did want to get back on here and get back into this so i really appreciate you guys for holding in tight with me for everybody that's been here since I made my get ready with me for my first day of high school to me now being 20 years old and still, you know, in college, working, doing everything. Also, my hair is not smoking. That's just because my blow dryer stopped working and my hair is wet. Yeah. Um, but yes, for all the people that stuck with me since I've been making videos when me all and my brother were staying in an apartment and now we're staying in a house you know what i mean i just really appreciate you guys that's that's one thing i wanted to say before we get into this whole vlogmas thing that i really appreciate you guys for sticking in with me and we're gonna do big things you know what i'm saying we finna do big things i'm also still gonna be posting on tiktok um but it'll be probably like shorter videos because i'm trying to put all my energy into youtube for this month but i'm gonna still be posting over there i'm gonna still give y'all some content over there as well if you guys came from tiktok i really appreciate you guys i love y'all and i don't know like honestly people be coming on here and they be like i love y'all i love y'all like i really mean it i really do because um this is something that i've been wanting to do like for a while um like i said i've been having my youtube channel for eight years and i want to keep it passionate Keep it fun. Keep it light. So, yeah. But, yeah. I really appreciate y'all. Um, also, if you guys have any video suggestions or anything you want to see this month, I can incorporate it into the videos that I've already planned. So, y'all let me know in the comments down below. I'm going to finish curling this hair, and I will get back to y'all for the next step. Okay? Get us over, yeah. Okay, y'all. So, we just finished curling the hair. I'm not going to come out the curls um, yet. I'm going to 
you know, try to touch up these baby hairs. I didn't lay them. All I did was part them out, and they look really, really good. I don't like the stick to the forehead look. <laughs> um, if y'all do that, that's your own tea, and that's your own bag, and I, you know, it's cute on you, girl. You know, but it just doesn't look good on me. So I'm going to switch that up. Also, y'all, if I can find the link um to this hair, I'm gonna put it in the description because I have done so many installs with this hair and it still looks good. I had to revamp it a little more this time because I had it stuck in a closet and I just was not doing anything with it. Um I had put it on for the Beyonce concert and after that I stuck it right back on in that closet, did not wash it. You know, basically just not taking care of the wig. So I had to do a lot more than I usually have to do when I revamp um, my old wigs today. But I decided not to include that in the video because it, girl, it took forever. It took forever. This video will be super extremely long to edit if I would have put that in here. But if y'all want to see that um, later on, we can definitely do that. I'll show you guys how to revamp the wig, okay? So this is how it's looking. I gotta get some makeup to define this, to define this little part we got going here. Um, yeah, these curls are actually really cute. Once I comb them out, they will look a lot better. Actually, y'all, I cannot see. Y'all know I'm very, very blind. So I put my glasses back on to finish doing this. Okay. Honestly, it's turning out so pretty, and I love this color. Um, I really want to re-dye my actual hair. Girl, this is ghetto. I really want to re-dye my actual hair to this color. It was like this when I first had my locks. But, you know, that's faded out. That's so far gone. Um, but, yeah, I want to re-dye my hair. But I, I want to wait till I'm like um, a year and a half, maybe two years in before I dye my hair. Um, for my, before I dye my locks, I want to wait that long that long of a period but yeah honestly y'all i'm gonna put my elastic band on and i'm gonna let it sit and then we're gonna come back with the final look okay 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 y'all so this is the final look i love how it looks like i love how like bouncy and like the like the voluminous of the curls um i don't even know where i got this curler from but it always eats when i do this curler um, but yes, I love how it turned out and I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see y'all tomorrow with day two of Vlogmas. Bye, boogies!